Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, because I know a lot of people find my videos through like these yearly Bujo setup videos. My name's Rebecca. I mainly post videos setting up my bullet journal and about running my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in that and other random artsy things, give me a like, a follow, whatever you would like to do. But let's get into my 2023 setup, starting with my future log. I don't do a year at a glance spread anymore. Personally, I didn't find it to be helpful if I was already going to have all the months laid out in a future log. So I just do the one future log for all my months and then I can always look back at that if I need to know how many days a month has or what the week starts at and things like that. So yeah, I am setting up the most tedious part of the Bujo. I use stamps for all the month names and then I am writing out um, each <laughs> number for every month. I also decided to include the like basic moon phases um, in there as well. So that has been included. I wrote down um, all the events and things I know will be happening during each of those months. And I also wrote down like what the specific full moons are called because there's different names for the different ones. Most people have heard of like harvest moon. There's also like strawberry moon and wolf moon. I would like to know more about those. So this will be a good reminder for me to pay attention to the moon this year. I did a full on like lunar calendar, I think in my 2020 setup. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will make sure to link my past um, setup playlist below and you can check that out if you're interested. This year, I kind of simplified it to make it a little bit more useful, a little bit more compiled, a little bit easier to use and just a little bit of washi tape to separate the months. And that's basically it. I didn't add any bright colors, keeping it super, super simple. And now I'm just going on to the second half of the year and doing the exact same thing. I am hoping, hoping <laughs> to get the whole year in this bullet journal. This is the first year I'm using one of the A5 Archer and Olive notebooks. This one is not numbered and it has a few less pages than the ones I'm used to. I can't remember if this one has 192 or if it was the 160, but the one I've had the past two years had 208. So I definitely have less space to work with. So we shall see if it makes it through the whole year. It depends on how I set up my weeks mainly. Um, I noticed uh, I was wasting a lot of space last year, so I am thinking that I can kind of compile and condense for the year ahead to make that a little bit nicer and take up less space and stick to the one notebook. Now we're moving on to my goals and ideas spreads. Super, super simple. Just wrote goals and ideas in big block letters at the top and then I'm going to write them all underneath on these pages, whether it be personal, work related, YouTube, Etsy related, it's all gonna go in these two pages. I separated it out a lot last year and that was nice visually, but just took up a lot of unnecessary space. So we're gonna see how this goes this year. And if I hate it, I guess next year we'll go back to separating them all out. And for this, I'm just using one of the Pigma Micron pens. I think this was one of the chunkier ones, like a 08 or something like that. You can use any, you know, black marker, fine liner, whatever you would like to use. The next page is specifically for tracking Etsy related things. I thought it would be fun. I've seen a lot of people do social media trackers in the past, and I'm not all that focused on that kind of stuff. I mean, if it happens to be that I get a bunch of followers, that's awesome, but I'm not going to sit there and track each individual one. 
However, I do want to track the sales I make on Etsy this year, um, just like my total number of sales. So I have been very ambitious and went up to, I think, 2,500 on here. Do I expect to make that many? No. Am I hopeful to be able to make that many? Absolutely. So <laughs> we are going to see where I'm at at the end of the year. And each box is 100. So hopefully that means I will get <laughs> to fill in some of these boxes this year. Hopefully it won't just be like the first two. And then on the other side next to it, I want to keep track of the manufacturers that I like to use. For that, I am just doing um, a list. If they come with stickers, I'm going to stick them in there. One that I really like to use is sticker app. So that one, they always send stickers and they happen to send one at some point last year that had just their like logo name on it. So that's what I put. And this page is kind of having this purple, not quite lavender, a little bit darker um, kind of accent color. And that's about it for these pages. Opal and Jasper both helped quite a bit, as you can tell with these setups. This one is going to be a spread for things to check out. I made a section for to watch, to listen, and to play. So that bottom corner is kind of empty. I think I will make a to read section there. Um, I had just put a question mark at this point in time, but I think it will become like a little book symbol and to read down there. So I'm just writing things to check out in the middle. And I did a little doodle of a TV for to watch. I did a little controller for to play like video games. And then I did little like headphones for to listen. And that's mainly going to be like podcast things like that. Um, if there's any like new albums I know are going to come out, maybe I'll write that down there so I don't forget. As if you could forget that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm kind of forgetful unless it's like a Taylor Swift album. So to be fair. I might be using this quite a bit. I'm hoping this will help. In past years, I've made like separate pages for these and kept track of like things I bought, played and like completed, things like that. I don't think I need to do that. I think this can just be like a catch all for like things like if my co-watcher, co-watcher, co-worker tells me to watch a cool show, maybe I can just add that in here and that way I don't forget about it. Things like that. And then here is my reading tracker. This was very heavily inspired by some stickers that I saw on Etsy and I kind of wanted to make my own stickers but I was like no this girl's already done it and hers looks amazing. I'm just gonna try to do my own doodles in my book and I quite like the way it came out. It's very personalized to me you know, like the stickers she did were super, super cute. But this way I could add like the specific plant that I have and my little camera and then have it be personalized to me. So I am hoping, hoping to read 52 books this year. I think I will accomplish that. I want to read at least 52. Try to shoot for more because I know a lot of them are going to be like manga kind of books and those you get through super fast. So yeah hoping to do more than the 52 but i will just draw a little book onto this little bookshelf every time i read one and i think i will write the name of the book the title in there i'm not going to write author because i also have goodreads to keep track of all the more detailed stuff this is just kind of a nice visual representation in my book I'm not doing like a physical list this year. And then back to a page at the very beginning of my notebook, I decided I wanted to do the tarot card of the year. If you haven't heard of that before, I wasn't really sure if this was like a real thing people did, but basically you add together like the numbers of your birthday with the current year 
and you end up with one of the numbers for one of the major arcana cards so that will be your card to kind of reflect on throughout the year so mine is the lover's card and i'm just going to print out a photo to stick on that page and i also decided to include a bill tracker this year i think this is going to be really handy I just want to have a spot that's dedicated to all the things that I need to pay throughout the year and just a spot to make a note of when some of the like less frequent ones are due. For example, my car inspection that happens once a year and I always I'm like, oh man, I didn't think to put money aside for that. <laughs> Same thing with um, car insurance. That happens twice a year for me with the plan that I currently have so I'm going to put those dates there and I definitely copied this setup from somebody else so I will link their video in the description if I can find it but this way you can also kind of see if there's any unnecessary things that your money is going to and kind of decide what to prioritize and what not to and see what subscriptions happen monthly or yearly and keep track of all your bills and I just wrote bill tracker up at the top and I have that little box on the right hand side to keep track of the yearly things this is also one of the very few dutch door spreads i have ever made i really don't like dutch door spreads because i find it hard to write on the next page but for this i felt like it made the most sense to do this that way i didn't have to redo anything on the next page you could just flip over and see the rest of the year and at the bottom you can see the totals for each month and kind of keep track of your spending habits so i added a tiny bit of washi tape and that was about it and here is a final flip through it did end up adding an index <laughs> header on that first page there but everything else looks about like this i did fill out you know my goals and stuff but i'm not going to share each individual one of those and some of my ideas i would like to keep a secret since they may be videos that end up on here so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this setup let me know what kind of setup is in your bullet journal and i will see you in my next video bye